Water pressure, I would say, is thousand pushing down everywhere. I don't think a human could survive inside. We have approached the area. Well, let's get our our sub submarine light, so we can actually see uh, the creatures down here. If we see one, let me. There we go. Hammerhead shark. A smooth. He has a nice back. With a... With a... Tail with... See those lines? Those lines are the sp are the bones in the tail that help it move. And we also have to mention those raising sharp teeth that it has. We should better leave it alone. Stingray. Black spotted. As you can see that its tail has uh, the special lines that can sting an enemy if you want to see. The thing is now bleeding. So now sharks are attractive to it. is a near a great white <laughs> The great white shark has demolished that viper fish swim away. There's another one. A hammerhead shark. Another. Looks like there's a barracuda there. Watching our sea camera. Looks like it doesn't want to be bothered, so we better leave it alone. A salty shark. These sharks are unusual. 
mouth looks like so. Which, if you were to cut off one of its teeth, it wouldn't be as weird because it's the same material that is made out of your fingernails. But of course, that isn't their mouth. Their mouth is here. For some reason, it is laying upside down so we can get a good look. Those are bottom feeders, so we don't have to harm them. But we do have to harm him. Or I mean don't harm. Why would we harm this? The biggest great white that we have here in the deep sea is demolishing a woman. Looks like we can wipe our fishes. I'm hearing great whites. I don't know why. That's a bad choice. Oh yeah, we haven't talked about viper fish yet. Viper fish are like angler fish, but just a little longer. And then they look a little scarier like a viper. They they're they have like spiky fins and they're more bump their texture is more bumpy. And yeah. That's basically, they're more dry color than nice colors. We just saw an orange one, but whatever. As you can see here, goblin shark. Goblin sharks are slick sharks, but just, they, they're, they're just unusual. They have a... A, t a tail like um our friend over here the shark sure. but but this one's more thick these things mostly get ripped up but this one look like this one looks too bad and they mostly have these long noses that makes it kind of look like a goblin so that's why they call it a gar goblin trick this goblin trick tech this goblin shark's color looks beautiful for an ugly creature. Next to the big great white. Great white are great whites. They're the biggest known shark known. And the strongest. They they have huge jaws that can chomp anything in a second. Sperm, sperm whales. Sperm whales are, are, a little, they have a big bump head and a big nose so they can go crashing and they have a mouth that's good for uh, catching some shrimps. Giant squid. As you can see, this one is holding something that fell at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, what's that? <coughs> Garbage just fell at the bottom of the ocean. Looks like this squid is cool. I actually like squids myself. But my favorite ocean creature has to be a great white shark. Not because of its popularity. Just, you know, the way they look. Giant squids are mostly found in the deep sea. But not like colossal squids. Just a little bit. Colossal squids are colossal. They're humongous. But colossal squids have one eye, but these have two eyes. Let's get into the next creature. Well, it looks like a little submarine 
Modric ski has crashed. Looks like these tiger sharks are taking it over. That one has a little more light color and that one's this old dark. I don't know. Now this is interesting. The baby giant squid. They're just the same thing, but this one actually looks super cool.